We made it. Are we live? Nope. Hi, children. We are here again. We found ourselves back here. Is this a simulation or is this real? We're super excited about this one. Skype joined this trip. They're giving us and you guys a chance for us to collaborate on this trip. We have four darts. Two of them are inked into us. Two of them we can actually throw. We don't have a blindfold. What should we use? <laughs> Hold on, don't aim. I'm Whoa. standing in front of you. Just move. Right on top of Wisconsin in Apostle Islands. Bayfield, Wisconsin. You have choice number one. The wig is gonna help me do this well. The choices are Bayfield, Wisconsin or Wapaka, Wisconsin. Who's winning right now? Bayfield's Bayfield? winning. Top 10 things to do in Bayfield, Wisconsin. What is an ice cave? Never been to Wisconsin. I've never been to Wisconsin either. Maybe we should try it. We should go, is there cheese? We now need to investigate an airport that will get us there today, because we leave right now. Here we go. Welcome to last minute trips, people. Here we go, I'ma book it. We went to one of these pedestrian bridges out here in downtown Minneapolis and this giant bird flies over us and I'm, I look at it and I see its head is white and I'm like, Colin, is that a bald eagle? And then this runner comes up and it's like, oh yeah, that's a bald eagle, he lives right there. Yeah. So I've never that, seen one of those in my entire life. And so he waved at us and then flew away. He actually whipped. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it. It was in the air, it was very fast. So we just sat down at a place called Pizza Luce, but this is not just any old pizza joint. This is a pizza joint that we really tried to go to last night. Let me set the scene. So we landed, our flight was delayed, so we didn't land until after midnight. Feels like the airport's completely shut down. Nobody's here. It's just after midnight, we're gonna go get our car. Then we got to the baggage claim, and there was about 25 of you Dart fam there. So we hung out, said what's up, it was really cool. Everybody had nothing but well wishes and suggestions, and there's a couple people that were in some of the Skype chats. Get our car, look for food in the area. At this point, it's like 1.45. We notice that there's a Pizza Luce open until 2.30, so we- We realize that there's 30 minutes before a place called Pizza Luce closes. Rush over to Pizza Luce, only to find out that- Yeah, we're close, yeah. Get in the car, call to see if they can deliver it to our hotel. They don't deliver it to our hotel, but there's a Pizza Luce open downtown. So we say, oh, you know what? They're open until 3.30. Let's just go down there and check it out. Well, little do we know that it's like mayhem downtown after two. It's almost 3.30. Yeah. Still haven't checked into our hotel. So we find a burger joint. We are literally the last ones in. We wait in line for no joke like 40 minutes. They run out of fries. Literally just before we start ordering. So we ended up just going back to the hotel and eating a pickle from the lobby. So moral of that story is sometimes you get really great, amazing, cool late night food on last minute trips and sometimes you get a pickle. It's cool, I can see like cotton floating in the air, I can like, or whatever that is. It's just allergies floating, <laughs> like physical representation of my allergies. <laughs> so as of right now, we are scheduled to leave Minneapolis to head up to Bayfield. Scheduled? We don't have a schedule. We need to find a place to stay tonight and tomorrow. We were looking on Airbnb and we found some boats as houses, but they weren't houseboats, they were just boats. I mean, it's super old school, but like... So we're just sleeping on the water. Yeah. I feel like we need to sleep on a boat. Dude. I think we should sleep on a boat. Do they do last minute books? I think, I think, as of right now, it looks like our first night in Bayfield is gonna be on a boat. And let's just clear this up once again, not a houseboat, a just boat. a boat. <laughs> just it's a just boat. A boat. <laughs> She get up by the window, I stay late in bed Never really knew what to say, and I don't remember what I said but Things are different, yeah, things are different I got a brand new bone to chew You always gotta take care of something
I'm farting, but I'm trying really hard not to poop. We made it! Just kidding. We pulled off in Pine City on the way to Duluth, which is on the way to Bayfield. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hop on Skype and get in our nine group chats, soon to be 10, completely filled to the brim with you guys. To chat with you for about an hour, get your suggestions on stuff we should do on this trip. Hey everybody, say hi to the episode you're gonna be in. I think my favorite part about this group chat, Colin, is everyone is laughing that you got bit by a mosquito first. That's that makes me feel. It's great. just comforting. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Everything just got soaked. Yeah, so that was fun. It just started raining. That was our setup way over there, and we just had to sprint with all of the gear back to the car. I almost drowned. So I don't know if I've ever done one of these drive through things before. I have a hundred percent not. I think you just shout as loud as you can. <laughs> I was just about to roll my window. Oh my God. <laughs> Why is this so funny? I'm glad look, you're- Look at the size of my french fries right now. Questions not to ask at a drive-in. Hey man, can you shut the trunk? <laughs> well, we can keep the tray, right? You gonna come in and eat with us? Hey man, where do you live? <laughs> you got any kids? <laughs> Yo, man, where are your kids? Hey, man, what are you looking at? <laughs> Do I pay now or? <laughs> Yo, where's the bathroom? Like, in here. <laughs> hey, man, can I get one more barbecue sauce? Yeah. Would that be possible? Thanks, man. That was a question to ask. Can I get one more barbecue sauce and two better attitudes? <laughs> so when we order through the machine, is it monitored or is it on the honor system? Can I help you? <laughs> I'm not trying to eat, I just need a place to park. Is, this, is that cool, can I park here? This isn't really a question, but just as soon as they bring the food, you just swing the door open. <laughs> Chinese fire drill! Uh, yeah, I'll take unleaded. Hey, so like, how fast can you go with this thing attached? just under an hour outside of Bayfield, Wisconsin. And we were going to take the 52, I believe, which is the freeway that cuts through Wisconsin and kind of goes straight towards Bayfield. But one of you guys actually in the group chats told us to take the 13, which is a much more scenic route, which we are now on. Behind this line of trees right here, it's like the water's right there. It's absolutely beautiful. This is always the part of the trip where we get stir crazy because we've been in the car for four plus hours and all we want to do is get to the destination, which is ironic because we're trading the small space in the car for an even smaller space in a boat. Do they give us a captain's hat like just to pretend? Yeah. Okay. Because I brought, I didn't bring my own. I always bring mine, but... B-Y-O-C-H? Yeah. Okay. I didn't bring my own captain's hat. Determined was the answer on the ball. I shook it a few more times to see if it would change it all. I was ready to dive in, but only into the shallow end. To be determined is all I have left. We made it. We made it to Bayfield, Wisconsin. We are on the water. Actually, our home for tonight is right over there. So, you want to lock the car? Do you want to lock the car? That's what you sound like. A dock, B dock, C dock. So, C dock is it's that one. So, we got to go down and around. Welcome on this episode of Cribs. We are oh my god, officially sailors. Breaker Breaker 1-9. Yeah. Oh, hi. I'll call you right back. Welcome to our home. Let's start the tour. This is our equipment room. It doubles as our phone booth. This is our map. 
library here. This is the dining room slash second bedroom slash guest bedroom slash skylight area. There's also, excuse me. This is our closet and our kitchen and our sink and our oven. There's the fridge is back there. Also our heater as well. This is the escape uh, the exit. This is our emergency bell. Still works like a charm. It's our other bedroom slash uh, dining room area. This is our <laughs> the bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom in here. We actually got this toilet from NASA. Actually, <laughs> works in zero grav. That's what astronauts use <laughs> lingo. And then there's this is where the magic happens. Oh, come this way. There's literally <laughs> nothing else there. That's it. We'll probably have to cut this up into a couple of different episodes because there's so much to see. We're still looking for the flare gun. As soon as we get that, we're gonna pop off a couple rounds. <laughs> anyway, commercial break. Is there a like pull out option in that one? Mm -mm. No. There's one big turn and on the left side on the lake side is called Seagull Bay Motel. Seagull Bay. You wanna check yeah. that out? Thank you. Alright, thanks. Alright, we're getting our day started right now. Uh, so we need to find some coffee naturally. And yesterday in the group chats, a bunch of people recommended a place called Big Water Coffee Roasters. So we decided to track this place down and get ourselves some coffee and some mugs to take home as a little keepsake. Before we go, I think we should let our Skype group chat friends know that because of them, we are now enjoying some of the finest coffee that Bayfield has to offer. Guess where we are. This is a really good recommendation. This coffee is so delicious. It seems like uh, people in this town have written their name on each of these bricks on this wall as sort of like a little signature to being part of this place. So I, I think we should probably join the tradition, right? What they they print them. It's like toddler, toddler. Oh, right, okay. Perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let me try it on. Oh, uh, nothing. We're gonna head down to the pier because we met a woman whose family uh, is from Bayfield. So all the way in Minneapolis, we happened to meet uh, this nice woman. But you should stop by the Pier Plaza. My cousins run it, my aunt and uncle own it. Her family operates the Pier Plaza. Here it is. Marnie, she's first cousin. So my grandparents started the business here 62 years ago with a charter fishing business and then it turned into an A&W restaurant. And then after that, it turned into the Pure Plaza because they didn't want any franchises in Bayfield. My parents took over the business, John and Sharon, and then my dad's sister's Jackie, whose daughter's Marnie. Right in the bay over here, they would do ice racing with old stock cars. Wow. So I know they had them this year, but only a few races. And when you guys go out to the caves too, um, those are our ice caves then during the winter, so those are gorgeous. Yeah, that's what you people go keep online, saying. Like, you can see, the see some caves. pictures. Yeah. So yeah. great Thank to meet you, so you guys. So I'll check you out on YouTube. Yeah. So how about that? Uh, the woman that we were standing next to in line at the airport rental car and talking to came here yesterday and talked about us. Cause right. she was like, did those two guys come and film yet? And we hadn't been here yet. That's crazy. In just a few hours of being here, we felt like we got to know so much about Bayfield. A prideful town with so much soul that no chain restaurant will ever be found there. A place where every single day at noon, a siren goes off called the noon whistle just because it's noon. Something that we were really curious about though were the apples. Everyone in town mentioned the apples to us, so we felt like we needed to see them for ourselves. And we did. Our next stop was the Sunset Valley Orchard. Doing. 
I, I could I could spend a whole week out here just taking it all in. But we gotta hightail it back home tomorrow. People sometimes you buy a five acres or a hundred acres. That's my land. L land does not belong to one person. You might have the title and the deed for it. My belief is I was granted to be the caretaker for X number of years and guess what? I get to pay taxes and to boot. Thank you so much. Come really. back come back with a your camper, a case of beer and a, and, a, and a bus and make yourself at home. We made it out to the beach. We're at Myers Beach, which is a bit north of Bayfield and we are gonna go kayaking. Colin and I got a tandem kayak. We have our two instructors here. Aiden sure. and Allie. Allie. One thing though, there's a pretty giant storm cell off to the north. Basically got halfway to us in about 30 minutes. Um, so we're kind of guessing it'll be to us in the next 30 minutes. Perfect, because we actually have about 20, 30 minutes of paddle instruction that we give before we get on the water anyway. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about paddle strokes. Aiden's gonna talk a little bit about the boat. So where are we? We're here. Like, we're yeah. here, and it's moving yep. towards us. Yeah. <laughs> that thing is <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> so wait, red is bad, right? <laughs> Hi. Hi, Jiggy. Bowie, can you say Skype? <laughs> we went and picked up wetsuits. We like got all geared up. We drove like 30 minutes out to where you launch from. And as we're gearing up, we go down to the beach. It was like like lightning strike. And then they were like, we, we got to call it. We can't go out. The weather's too bad. Oh, no. Yeah. And now it's sunny again. <laughs> Bowie, do you want to say bye-bye, Daddy? So... I don't know if you can really see it behind me, but it just rained pretty heavily, which forced us from our kayak trip. Now it's cleared up and like there's this steam on all the streets. I don't know if I can fully reiterate how insanely beautiful this place is. I'm truly glad that the dart landed here. Yeah, that's cool. It's just a bald eagle. We asked the owner of the apple orchard why he lived in Bayfield. And he told us that 51 years ago, he moved from Chicago to Bayfield because he wanted to take a chance. Well, we felt like that was our answer too. This show has woken up something inside of us. And the crazy thing is, I'm not even really sure what exactly that is. All I know is we're awake and we're not gonna miss our next flight.